Well, I'm in Boston. Was in Boston for work and uh, thought we'd try out shooting some Cinestill during the daytime. Cause I was hoping it was gonna be sunny, but it's kind of gloomy, so we'll just go with it. Usual setup, Leica M6 with the 35 millimeter 1.4 Voigtlander. Okay. And we're gonna shoot it one stop overexposed. I've seen some people experiment with that. We're gonna give it a shot today. So, I don't know, let's go find our first frame. Looking down this whole way is kind of nice. We'll see if that's anything. Expensive Leica out in the rain, that's great. Well, here comes a tight Amazon truck. Big car, little street. Here we go, three, two. Got it. Big van, little road. I recently just took portraits of my friends and I feel like photographing people's kind of the move. So we're gonna try and make some compositions with some people in it, but let's head down this route. I don't know if this is the old part of Boston. We just went to a cafe, had some coffee. This place is so cool though, because it's way older than Utah. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Hello there, Paul. I'd take a picture of you, but film's just too damn expensive to waste a shot on, you know what I'm saying? Although, I don't know, it's pretty cool actually with the church going in the background. Can you see it? Oh, we gotta stop down even more. Oh, there it is, okay, you see the, see the church going right there and then Paul right there? Not really a person, he's a statue, but Still works. F8 at F125. Three, two, one. Two shots deep. Was Ben Franklin, was he in Boston? Is he parking the car in Boston? All right, here's the frame right here. This is cool. You got a green tree, red brick, a bicycle. Maybe we'll wait for somebody to come walking through it. And dude, you got the remnants of where a car used to be parked. You can kind of see it's like a chalk outline of like the dead body aftermath. Man, let's see. I think these people might be walking past it. Maybe we can get some people in the frame. Right. That's where I want the people like, you know, mid-step, like a crosswalk sign. Okay, here we go. We're on. Oh, don't ruin it, car. Here we go. Three, two. Got it. There was two people instead of just one. But I think it works. Some freebies for me if I were a criminal. Man, look at this cool red truck. You call, we haul, baby. I bet they do haul. Here we go, people looking at this. We got three, two. I don't know, we'll see. Could be something. All right, let's go find Paul Revere's house. I think it's that way. Oh, there's Paul Revere again. What did he say? The Italians are coming? We hung some lanterns in the church? Yeah, we're heading the right way. I don't know. Here's Paul's house. It's kind of creepy, kind of dark. Sorry, Paul. I'll take a picture of you, but I'm not gonna blow one on your house. It's just too expensive. Here's a cool building right here. This looks like something out of Diagon Alley, out of uh, Harry Potter. It even says gift shop on it. Look at that thing, dude. I think to try and incorporate people, I just kind of have to be a little more patient. Pick my framing and then wait for people to go into the shop. <gasps> Some umbrellas, here we go. Oh yeah. Three, two. That's how you get people, I guess. You just gotta wait. Sit and wait. There's so many cool streets and all the old roads. Let's see if we can incorporate some lots of fun different layers, you know? There was somewhere up here that had a cool sign. Some layering buildings going. I gotta find that. And the car right over here, that's... I should have just had the driver just stop and let me out right then and there. I should have started this stroll on a good note. Oh, <gasps> here it is. Found it, dude. Yes. Oh, baby. Let me tell you what's going on here. You got this wall going on this side. You got this one. And it all just frames up. What is that, Reg Regina? Regina Pizza? Oh yeah. I think we might just hang out here for a second and try and get the perfect setup of people. Like this person walking with, there's someone walking with like a red hat. Looks like they got a little cart. Classic looking red hat. It'll gonna go well with that Regina Pizza. Go right ahead. You're gonna make the shot with that cool red hat. I know, it's crazy. Three, two. <sighs> she keep walking. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully one of those works. Mm, that might be the shot. Might be the fade from the stroll. There's a green truck. You got the red pizza. Something in that, dude. A movie needs to be made right here. Here we go, three, two. Feels like a back lot to some 
New York streets. I don't know how uh, gutsy I want to be with it and get up. You see them there? There they are, they're down there. Oh, on their smoke break. I don't know, we'll see how close I dare to get. Three, two. Could be cool, I don't know. He saw me taking it, dude, we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't come and beat my ass. Let's get this guy walking right under the pizza sign. Here we go. Three, two, Oh, with the pizzas in hand. Damn. Okay, that's the thing, dude. We're gonna get someone walking out with a big box of pizzas. Maybe the framing's over on this side. Now we wait. Let's load it up, though, so we uh, are prepared. Go to a 5.6 at a 125th. Yeah, 250th. We'll sit at that and see how it goes. Wait for someone to walk with a big pile of pizza boxes. Here we go with these guys. Here, throw it. Three, two, one. I don't know. It wasn't a big pile of boxes, but then they came out the other door. Not great. He's standing right under the pizza sign. Not not a big pile of boxes, but here we go. At an F56250. Here we go. Three, three, two. Alright, we've been sitting here waiting a minute. Trying to get someone walking out with some pizza boxes at Regina's Pizza Bar and Wine. Got it all set up. Let me just wait. Pull an audible here and get this lady walking over here. Three, two. That'll be pretty. All right, just a few more minutes. I'll even take one person just with one box walking out. Oh, you damn shit. No, fuck. And someone just walked out and a car pulled right in front of it. <laughs> damn. damn it. Just my luck though, dude. Of course, the big pile of boxes come and I'm in the wrong spot with a car passing it. We get it with these dogs, because that's fun. Three, two. I don't know. I'm depressed. It didn't work. That's right. I'm just not patient enough to do it. Maybe we wait for someone across this road right there. Could be something. F8 at a 250th. Oh, here comes our doggies again. Three, two, one. I think that's it, dude. The doggies work. They're doing it for me. Should we do a selfie? That's kind of fun. We'll do it in these. There's some like gold looking windows. You see that? Hand in the pocket maybe. Firebox in the back. Here we go. Three, two. I don't know. We've been a busy bee. Only like 10 shots left. Same hat. Different city. Oh dang dude. Here comes a homie with more doggies. I'm going to set it up. Three, two, one. We hesitated. We didn't get them straight in the middle, but whatever. All right, there was a place called Acorn Street that looked cool. Bit of a walk, but we're gonna do it. If there's something really cool, we'll pop that off along the way, saving at least, I don't know, what do you think? Four or five shots for Acorn Street? For all the true fan fans of this channel, my birthday was this week. If you uh, wanna support the channel, comment happy birthday down below. Happy birthday to me. Well, there's a police officer with a white hat on, that's kinda cool. Or somebody. I don't know if he's hanging out or not. I don't know who he is, but we're gonna sneak up right behind him and get a picture of that hat. We're gonna prep the camera now. We're cocked. We can shoot at an F8 and uh, try and get it within three feet. Hopefully it's in, dude. I didn't get that close. I kind of chickened out. The cement building's horrible though, dude. Maybe that works. Dystopian. Is that the word I'm looking for? You know the book 1984? Is that what it is? Can we roll it? Hell yeah. F8. 250th, you know the drill. Three, two, one. Man, that looks terrible. Although, hold on, this is great. Look at that, the three, like, the bunch of pillars. These funky stairs. This guy in a red hat down there. Three, two, one. I don't know. It could be dog sh bro. Horrible building though, dude. Holy sh about depressing. I know, I shouldn't be taking this photo and I might wait for someone to walk by to really set the scale. Although I think we gotta come over a bit. Am I in over here? I can't see the damn monitor anymore, dude. Three, two, four. I don't know, she was probably too close to the camera too. It would have been worked better if she was further away and kind of hugging the side of the building. Okay, Acorn Street, no more distractions. Here we go. Ooh, almost there. Just another 
five minutes. All right, I know there's no people, but I don't know, you just never see a newspaper anymore. That's kind of peaceful. So we're gonna get it. I know that's kind of lame, but that's what I want. I'm gonna go to a nice F4. Here we go, an F4 at a 250. Climb up a little bit of the stairs. Here we go, three, two, one. I don't know, something kind of peaceful about it. To shoot a newspaper on a medium that's on its way out, but hopefully not. Hopefully. Oh, there's Acorn Street, it's right here. Private way. Just focus on these. What do you call these, dude? Window seal flowers? Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, I kind of like this lantern with the flag. Lantern, the flag, the lady, the other photographer. Here we go. Three, two. How cute would it be to live on eight? Bast. Man, how many shots left? Oh, I think just one. I see some churches down here, some steeples. Hopefully they're steeples, you never know. They could be playing a trick on you in the distance. And are they churches? Let's see. Mm, I don't know, you tell me. If you had one shot left, would you do it? I don't know. Feels like England in here, dude. A lovely little spot. And I guess it technically was England for a little bit until we said Peace. I don't know, this is kind of a nice composition. I'm thinking way too hard about this for the last frame. You got that, you got these little windows. I don't know, it's peaceful. And I'm starving, so I don't know if I'll wait for anybody. Make sure my lens is clear. Oh my God. Oh, you see me, I'm down here. Go F8 at a 60th. Three, two, one. Is that it, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, there it is, Sinistil, shot during the day. And we'll see. So, the question is, will I shoot Sinistil 800T during the day again? Yes, but it was interesting. When I was converting the negatives, they all came out much warmer than you would expect out of a tungsten film. So I cooled them off a bit in post because that was my original vision when I was out taking these photos. Whatever AI voodoo was going on in Negative Lab Pro, I won't stand for it. This is just another example of AI and computers slowly taking over for world domination. The war against the machines. And who knows, I bet soon we won't even need digital cameras or film cameras. Poor people.